you know, I'd listening to Michael Schenker, who's, I loved Michael Schenker. He was using Mixolydian a lot. So he would, he would do those runs that were kind of half major, half minor. <laughs> and mixing it up you know that kind of thing that wasn't the best example but you get the idea and then uh yeah so all these guys that i loved were kind of were kind of Eddie, Eddie and Randy had all of these, had everything, you know, they, they had the harmonic minor stuff and they had the attack of, you know, it turns out that Gary Moore, in, you know, was an uh, influence of Randy's and I love Gary Moore. And it wasn't until after I heard Randy that I found Gary Moore. I found Gary Moore a couple years later from, from seeing Randy when he had the uh, Corridors of Power record. Well, as, as we were talking about, Gary had those, Gary had those, um, staccato, really fast, maybe with a little more gain. break down that thing the Gary Moore type thing. it's really cool as a as a connection builder for for staccato picking is so I'm just basically starting with a downstroke using the open strings and it kind of works in E minor as it is. He was playing a song in E minor. And then to do the, uh, the, the other bit, which it's good both legato and staccato. It's um, legato would be. Or staccato. To do it slow. And then. So you got the, the Gary Moore type of thing, and then there's, there's another, it's a good um, way to warm up the staccato picking in, we'll do it in G minor. I realize a lot of people know these, they know how to do this stuff, but it's really to get the connection really tight. So I'm not gained up so that I want, you know, I want everyone to hear what it is without the extra gain and stuff, but, um, but it's a... Utilizing some bending in there sometimes is cool, but... That's Jeff Beck's 
influence a little bit? Some, some people like more to think about it and it's good for them, but for other people it's nice to just break it down to something simple like the, the two strings, you're working on two strings in a box. A lot of times just for, for getting fluid in, in that um, mixing staccato and legato in that pentatonic box. Actually, there I had four strings involved. I went... changing, you know, jumping around a bit, but. And as you, as you said, taking this box. It's, uh, it's, it's nice to think of this little box here. That's something that you, I, you know, I need to pr I need to practice it slow and get it solid, and then then we can do it. But so this is, but you see, you're seeing the strings on the puppets now. So, but this is basically you, I got to take it like this. So I have to practice it like that. To get it super tight the way that it needs to be, I got to take it slow and easy. I just had to, now I got to pay a royalty to Coverdale for saying the title of the song. <laughs> yeah. I think there's a balance between keeping it simple and also, you know, for me, keeping it simple works good. But there's, I know there's a lot of, players out there that they need to they need to be pushed beyond that to be to keep their interest up and um you know it's hard for me to even think about all the aspects that go into what i what i do but somebody out there can look at it and go okay well he's he's legato staccato he's playing a phrygian note there he's bending up to it he's double you know all that stuff and they can break it down and and maybe find something good out of it that they can use for for to influence them or, or to inspire them. Um, but I know guys that are really awesome and they need to be pushed. And, and in that situation, going to, a, you know, having the opportunity to go to a, a music college or something is really valuable. I think it's a great thing. I, I know guys that have gone to Berkeley and GIT and all these places and they're, they're, they have this knowledge that I'm jealous about. They can write a chart so fast I can listen to a song once and know what the changes are before you even picking up the guitar. And that's something, I don't have that, but, um, but yeah, I really love it. The one thing I would say is, is that you gotta, the other side of it is you gotta experience the down and dirty techniques of guitar and, and not lose focus of that. <laughs> 